Assalamu alaikum guys, I'm going to tell you the 11 things that need to be on your bucket list for visiting Jordan. <laughs> Number one, eat mansaf. Standing up with your hands. Mansaf is Jordan's national dish. Chunks of lamb cooked in a fermented yogurt sauce laid over a bed of fluffy rice and shrak, the thinnest bread you've ever seen. Traditionally, it's eaten standing up in a round with your right hand. Number two, eat hashim, eat hashim. <laughs> Number two, eat hummus and falafel at Hashim's. Hashim's is an Amman institution in the heart of downtown. It's rumored to have the best hummus and falafel in the country. Afterwards, number three, nip down the road and have knafe at Habiba's. You'll find a booth serving hot and fresh knafe to locals and foreigners to eat wherever they can find a seat outside. Knafe is a Levantine dessert of cheese, vermicelli and sweet syrup. Number four, do the Jordanian Trinity, the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is, of course, the lowest point on earth known for such a high concentration of salt that you literally float on it. It's something that you cannot miss off your bucket list. Petra. Petra is the archaeological site of an ancient civilization, as well as the current home of some Jordanian Bedouins. The treasury is the giant carving on the side of a mountain face, and it is no wonder it has been named one of the seven wonders of the world. And Wadi Rum. Wadi Rum is known for its pink and red desert, which looks remarkably like the planet Mars. There you can find camps offering modern luxury lodges and traditional Bedouin tents. Go dune bugging, camel riding, and of course... Number five, eat zarb while you're there. Zarb is a Bedouin method of cooking meat in an underground Number oven. Number six, wear a shmag. The shmag or hatta is Jordan's red and white scarf, usually seen worn by Bedouin, old men and tourists. Did you even go to Wadi Ram if you didn't wear a shmag and hug a camel? Number seven, dance dabke. A dance known throughout the Middle East, but particularly in the Levant, the dabke is danced at any celebration or even spontaneously at small gatherings. It is so much fun. Eight, smoke shisha. Shisha, hookah or agila is smoked by men and women throughout the country in their spare time. Just find yourself a local cafe and go try some double apple shisha. Nine, have yalla yelled at you at least 10 times a day. Yalla, yalla. 10. Take your life in your hands while in the back of a yellow taxi. I'm half joking about the yellow cabs. They get a bad rap in Jordan, but they're so utterly different to taxis, say, in the UK, um, that I feel like it's relevant to mention them. If you can't pay a taxi, often they'll let you go for free, just like in this video. They're incredibly cheap anyway. The drivers smoke freely. They usually don't turn on the AC. Seatbelts are either optional or non-existent. Um, but the drivers tend to be quite fast, if not a little reckless, and unless I'm feeling really grumpy, I'll always choose a yellow cab over a private company. And number 11, fall in love with Jordan. Jordan has so much to offer. Nature, city, the calm, the adventure, singing and dancing and so much laughing. You will love it. Let me know in the comments where you're going to go when you visit. Tune in, subscribe for videos every Tuesday about life in Jordan and my life in Amman. Ma salame, bye.